All right, so what a day already out here on the Niagara Bar. Uh, the conditions just kind of lined up for us today. We made a flame run. As a matter of fact, I told Andy here, hey, get to our hotel at 6 a.m. I'll buy you a Timmy's on the way. He didn't accept the Timmy's, but he said, I'll go on the bar. I've always wanted to go. He loves it. Frank, what do we have to have to be able to get out on this bar? Well, first you have to have a boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's the start. I got it, got it. <laughs> but uh, you're not walking out here. Basically, the conditions that we're looking for is any type of south, southwest wind, and not too heavy. I mean, we're, we're probably fishing a 15 mile an hour wind today, but it's the right wind. It's a south wind, and uh, you know, it lets you come up the ledge properly. It doesn't make it too rough out here. Once we start seeing any north or east, it's got too much to build, too much, uh, you know, lake to to basically build up energy and it can be rough out here. So whenever you're coming out here, you want to look for a south, southwest wind, something under, you know, 15 miles an hour, preferably. What we're doing today is we're running mag lips with uh, fire gel on it and uh, off a three way and letting the wind push us a little bit faster than the current. To let these mag lips work, they got to be going faster than the current. Frank, one word for you. that up, Frank. Watch that net. Okay. <laughs> so here's Mikey. We're on. We're uh, it's on. just been constant. now. Mikey's all the way up here I'm from... i just letting you know that I have the boat. He does have the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey's from the greater Allentown area. Has never done this lake trout thing out here on the lake. He's always kind of hissed at it. Nah, I don't want to do lake trout. They're not fun. They're greasers. And now that he's out here doing this light tackle stuff, he loves it. You're about to see why. I'm just going to try to keep it out of their lines. Hopefully it doesn't go over there. Feels like another good fish. I mean, they, they fight though, don't they? Yeah, man. They're tugging. They're like, kind of like bringing up a big log. <laughs> with a couple head pumps on them. Sometimes they don't want to come in. I mean, sometimes they just sit there, can't budge them. All right, now I'm a little nervous. Mikey just used the word log and he's a plumber. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what we're going to find here. Okay, Frank has the net. It has been a common occurrence today. He's, uh, I'll tell you what, there's no better net guy on Lake Ontario than Frank today. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we're in guide mode. <laughs> Oh, he's not a bad fish, dude. He's better than he thought he is. Is that a lamprey, Mark? Wow. Oh, got him. We're back. Chris, I've begged you for what? Six, seven yeah, years to bring me time. up here and fish with Frank. I've done this in the past. I love fishing out here in Niagara Bar. It's one of my favorite places to fish. If I live closer, I'd be out here all the time. Well, one thing you guys got to understand something here is Andy's a guide, okay? He, he guides every day of the year and he wants to come out here and go fishing with. Frank is gonna disagree with us, but Frank is a living legend. You're talking about decades of being one of the best fishermen in the Niagara River. He works his tail off to find good fishing. And this folks is why, look at this, light tackle lake trout. This may be one of the funnest fisheries in the Great Lakes. Now you're used to catching these, what, 100 miles that way? 100 miles behind us? Uh, 130. 130. 129 to 130. Same fish, same fight. Have you seen this one yet? Is another good one? Oh, there's the weight. I see him just barely. He's not, you, can, you can faintly oh, see him that him fish. Oh boy, see, he's going wow. back down. That is not a bad fish. Another good fish. We're going to make him understand the way we're thinking. Oh, look, look, at, look at him. Look at him. Oh, here we go. Ready, Ready, Francis? Francis? Yes, look at that. Frank, again, fabulous job on the net. Well, you know I'm here for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey's getting ready to release his. Go. Here you go, Mike. Let's, here he goes. See ya. Look at that tail swap. Got him. Gotta love it. Andy's on. Now we got Andy's over here, and this is just fish after fish after fish. We've only been out here an hour and a half. Probably caught a dozen fish, really quick. Andy's going to show you what the average lake trout looks like here on the Niagara Bar. We're moving our way over to Andy right now. Here we go. Look at this. Nice seven, eight pound lake trout. Nice fish. Look at the size. You know what's amazing? The, the mouths on these things are huge. Look well, at that. It's like fit more food in there. Chris. More food. Just like Mikey. You That's watch right. him eat breakfast and dinner? This one feels like it's got a little bit better weight. The nice thing about here is we're catching lake here. It doesn't seem to be brown. Not anything. Should be close. There it is. Oh, good one, a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Wow. All right, hey. Just bopping around a little bit of an ace fire gel and a mag lip. Hey, banging them out. Hey, I'm Frank Campbell. We're out here on the Niagara Bar, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're using today to have success. We're using a 
maglev. This happens to be a 3-0. Basically what we were doing is taking the maglev, taking the maglev, we are adding a little bit of scent to it. This happens to be anise. Just dip it in. And the Lakers were loving it. We're running that off a three-way swivel setup. And what we're doing is we're taking a three-way, we're putting a three-way swivel. With, we're putting a three-way swivel with a drop sinker on there. This happens to be about a one and a quarter ounce drop sinker. We have a three-way swivel just up above it. We're running 10 pound cigar fluorocarbon all the way through, including our leader, about a seven foot leader to the business end. And it's essentially going through the water, attracting the fish. We've caught some fish that are spitting up a, a wide variety of baits and we're trying to match the hatch, going, the, uh, going a little bit faster than the current and really looking for aggressive fish to this, uh, this method out of. For the, uh, for the rod and reel end of it, we're running a bait casting reel. This happens to be a loose rod. We're running about a seven, seven and a half foot medium light rod. It's important that you run a medium light rod because it's a little softer tip and it'll give you a little bit more action with that lure when it uh, you know, has a resistance versus a, a real soft uh, tip. You don't want a real soft tip. You want a, a medium to medium light action, seven foot bait casting rod. Bait casting rod is a lot better for this. Feels like a good one. I thought I had bottom for a second. He was solid weight when he pulled out. After sticking bottom once, I was a little gun shy to say I was snagged again. How does this feel <laughs> compared to the last one? Uh, Can you tell yet? This one's taking some strain. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's, uh, it's crazy because until you see him, you really don't know what you have or, you know, we knew it was probably a leak trout. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Looks like you've netted a few of these in your lifetime. Uh, He's about the same size as the last one, but he had a lot more uh, kick to him. Here we are in Niagara Fire, just caught these beautiful lake trout on a Maglip 3 0 with uh, Captain Frank Campbell. Awesome fight. In cold conditions, catching them through the ice. What a time. This one's on my side. You can just let go. He's fighting like crazy. Look at him. <laughs> Frank, you're doing a hell of a job on the net. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to say what you're accusing me of. <laughs> the Denise Fire Gel is doing the work. Got the Frank over here with the good net jobs. And we're going to let this one go. Hopefully get a couple more. Maybe Andy will net it for you. Yeah. No, I don't see anyone running over the net. When I, I reeled yeah. mine in, I went and got Didn't the net. You it to me. <laughs> yeah, I did. I handed it to him and he hooks up. You know, That's all good stuff. It's a beautiful day out here. Even the California guy's been not complaining about I'm sweating that. out here. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard you say that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. He's My close. guess is okay. Laker. Because, well, because that's what yep, we've been It's a nice Laker, too. Big, long Laker. Right? Just like that. Uh, big old Niagara Bar Laker. Caught on a maglip. Three-way swivel. Loaded with fire gel. Doesn't get any better to, on a cold winter day. Double? Yeah. We got a double. Keeper, baby. All right, I'm Frank, gonna we need a triple. In. Don't bring your rod in. We need a triple. Oh, we, Frank, Frank, we know you can net. We need you to get a triple for us. <clears throat> Are you gaining anything yet? That's good. Tell us when you're close, Andy. Ooh, look at this fish. Didn't. There's one. Andy, don't let that one go. Oh my gosh, look at <laughs> Woo! Looks like a shark out here. Wow. This is a real one. Uh that may be your personal best lake trout. Uh yeah. Yeah. Andy? Andy, we need a bigger net. Yep. Holy, thank God Frank's on the net today. Yeah, you because that is a look at this fish. Look at this one. Ho, ho, ho! Woo! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Hello! It's not moving as easy. Hello! Here we are, Chris. Oh, 
Chris with a big old tanker. Lake trout off the Niagara Park caught on a Denise fire gel. All right, man, doubled up. We got some dinosaurs here, man. Holy moly. Just, uh, hey, Denise fire gel doing the work on those mag lips. We just doubled up on some real big lakers. So, you know, we've, we've dreamed of doing stuff like this. I think in the last 15 years, uh, Frank and I have only made it out to the bar twice. It's because conditions really have to be perfect. And today they're they're good. They're they're favorable. The ice just got blown out, uh, and it's an opportunity for us to do what some guys don't really know exists, and that's called have a blast catching lake trout. Uh, light tackle, lake trout is a ton of fun, as you've seen these guys do today. It's not like trolling where you know it's not as exciting. Uh, out here they fight, they pull, they run, they dive, and boy, can you have fun doing it. Hotski products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potski.com. And as a thank you for watching Potski Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.